Number one song on KQO was I Light My Fire. Number two, All You Need Is Love by The Beatles. I Was Made to Love Her at Number Three by Stevie Wonder. Pleasant Valley Sunday by The Monkees, Number Four. Uh, Carrie Ann by The Hollies at Number Five. Num number Seven, The Vandals from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we will be playing that Number Seven hit on KQO back in, on August 12th of 1967. And uh, coming up with The Vandals in about uh, 45 minutes. And as soon as uh, the rest of the guys get here, we'll be talking to uh, Harold Garcia, Paul Harrison, and Bill Dauber of uh, the Vandells on Real Oldies 1600 New Mexico Gold. Vandells, we have... Uh First, we have Paul Harrison. How you doing, Paul? Oh, I'm doing pretty good today. I'm Great. Kind of excited, you know? <laughs> oh, well, it's... It's an, it's an exciting radio station. We are here to have fun, and we want the listeners to have fun. And we have a lot of fun with New Mexico Gold. We also have uh, uh, Harold Garcia. How you doing, Harold? Glad, glad that... Uh, let me uh, get your mic up. I forgot we got two mics going. Enjoying your radio station. Thank you very much. Uh, um, obviously, you were listening when you had uh, heard the Vandals, right. and uh, you called me up, and, uh, and here we are. And that's, that's what right. we're trying to do. And also, we have uh, Bill Dauber. And I'll swing the mic around and say hello to Bill Dauber. How you doing? Bill Dauber, you were the, the founder of the Vandells, is that right? Correct. And uh, you knew these guys from school? Did you all, were you all classmates? Yeah, we had classes together, went to the same school. West Mesa High School? West Mesa. Yeah, West Mesa. The Mustangs. Yes, sir. When did they open West Mesa High School? Uh, back in 19... Was it, oh, we were, I we were, remember. No, no, 67. Well, 68 was first graduate, but we opened up yeah, in 1967. 67. 67. Uh, I did... Uh, I think the uh, Mons uh, West Mesa class of 1968 class reunion about, uh, well, I guess it would be about uh, seven years ago uh, with uh, Al, Al, uh, Al uh, he's a fireman, I forget, uh, he's the one that contacted me, anyway, Al Pacheco, that's who it is. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember a guy by the name Al Pacheco in your class? Uh, no, uh, but I just, uh, can I make a correction? Uh, West Mesa opened up in 1966. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, uh, Paul Harrison, what did you play in the group? I was a bass player for the Vandells. Uh, did you uh, all of you do vocals, or did you just did? Vo did you back backup vocals? Uh, I didn't do any backup vocals. I think it was Tony Ramirez. He played our. Uh, he played a saxophone. He was one of our backup. Okay, let's go up to uh, Harold Garcia. And uh, what instrument did you play? I uh, played guitar. Uh, lead rhythm. Uh, uh, rhythm. Rhythm guitar. Mm -hmm. Did you do any background vocals? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Martin took care of most of the. And uh, the lead singer was uh, Martin Duran. Martin Duran. I understand uh, he passed away last year. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that's too bad. It would have been nice to have Martin here with us. But uh, in spirit, we'll dedicate uh, today's Try Me to Martin Duran, uh, the lead singer of the Vandells at 1230. When we do that, we'll be remembering Martin. Uh, he uh, obviously did some great vocals because it's a great, great tune. Uh, and, Bill, what, uh, what instruments did you do? I played drums. You're the drummer. Yes. Okay. The Ringo. Yes, <laughs> correct. Great. Well, we'll be right back with uh, some more words from the Vandells and find out uh, what they're doing today music-wise. Uh, in the meantime, here we go with the Ray Charles written by of a, of a, super, of a, of a super James Brown too. Uh, we'll be right back right after these important messages. We're coming back live with the Vandells. Another great set. Bumped Elvis Presley for the Vandells. Uh, <laughs> we're scheduled to do an Elvis Presley tune. I want to talk to the Vandells. Uh, uh, guys, uh, whose idea was it to record? Uh, and this is something I forget to ask the groups as they as they come in. Like uh, when Ray Lucero was here uh, with the Charms, I forgot to ask him whose idea it was to record. Uh, uh, I want you so bad, which was uh, uh, a James Brown song that Tommy G did. His other big hits were actually written by Al Hurricane and Tiny Maury. Like uh, I want you, uh, I know what I want, and Hey Hey You're Too Much were written by Al Hurricane and Tiny Maury. But Tommy G's great hit of uh, I Want You So Bad is actually uh, a James Brown original, which is uh, what uh, you guys did with Try Me. Whose idea was it to do Try Me? Bill Dauber. Okay. The drummer. Uh, that's interesting. I would have thought it was the lead singer. but uh, And uh, I'll tell you what, speaking of the late Martin Duran, um, he did such a fantastic job on lead vocals on this. That is an, uh, it's an incredible 45. You guys did one heck of a job. I've got to tell you that right now. It's just an, who produced that? Uh, Wagner or it was I think it was Dick Stewart, Tommy Dick B. Stewart? Yeah. Dick Stewart and Tommy B. on the Lance label. Okay, and, uh, and the funny part about it is, uh, we were pushing the flip side, Danger Zone. Ah, uh, supposed to be the, the that a was not the A it side. Was a, it was the B side. B side, and you know, uh, I've got to think. Uh, Art Romero was the one that provided me with that Try Me by the Vandells, and uh, I'd like to thank Art on that. We uh, he brought in a bunch of stuff uh, last week. He and uh, Ray Durand. 
And uh, Arsh got a great band called The Knights here in town. He's a 69 graduate of Manzano High School. But uh, so uh, Try Me was, uh, was, uh, was uh, the B-side. Uh, and are you guys uh, play, performing today uh, professionally, uh, Bill? Are you playing no, with any group? Not anymore. When, no. When's the last, uh, last time you performed? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> are you still roasting that? Oh, oh God. Yeah. And, uh, I haven't played in years. Uh, Bill Dabra, uh, we had a neighbor down the street. My mom, we moved out here in 1961, lived on Shirley, south of Lomas. And I asked you if you're related to uh, one of our neighbors, uh, Mo Dabra. Correct. He's, uh, He's my uncle. Oh, super duper. I think they're still on Shirley. There's, There's only like Shirley. three families left on Shirley. Ernie Lopez's family, the Dabras, and uh, the Guillens up there on Shirley. Uh, uh, Harold, uh, you still yeah, performing I'm, today? I'm uh, currently playing with the band uh, Midnight Sun. It's a seven-piece band, and uh, we play at uh, some of the casinos in town. And also really? I'm playing with them. A three-piece, okay. three, uh, three-piece band, which is uh, uh, Joe Size, a fantastic singer, uh -huh. and uh, you might know this guy. His name is Don Rude, keyboard oh. player. I think you know. Absolutely. About him. Well, Don, Don used to play with uh, Freddie Chavez, and uh, uh, every time uh, I'd, I'd go in there, and they'd be playing at a certain. Uh, Don Rude used to play with a group called the Jesters, and I'd always bug him. Uh, Don play Rinky Dink. He did such a great job back in the '60s with the Jesters. And he played that big ham in Oregon, you know. And uh, so you're performing with Don Rude. We'll be sure and say hello to Don yes, for me. Well. And uh, uh, Paul, is it right? And you got it. <laughs> uh, I got three guys. We usually have uh, one guest from the group, but we were so lucky to have three of the original members of the Vandells with us. Are you performing today? Well, I, up to about a year and a half ago, I was playing in Vegas for about six and a half years. And wow. I did the casinos and backed up impersonators. And we just, you know, we did a lot of road work, you know, did up. All over the place, man. Wow. We played a lot of major casinos, and that was, that was pretty interesting. How long ago was that? Oh, I, I left Albuquerque, was it in uh, February 96, and I came back here in 2003. But we had, like, different members, and each guys were, like, really great. In fact, one of the guys, the guitar players that were playing with us is Scotty Alexander, and now he's one of the judges on the... the American Idol? No, the entertainer with, uh, oh, I with see. Wayne, uh, Wayne Newton. He was a guitar player. Nice well, judge. If you, were, if you were doing those uh, Vegas things, so you probably came across Cedro's Armada while you were in Vegas. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, and I did. Uh, Sal's uh, moved back to Albuquerque. He was here uh, with us a couple of weeks ago, Sal Garcia, oh. a.k.a. Sal Ricardo. He's doing jazz, I guess, on Sunday afternoons at the Sheraton, so we had a nice visit with him. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they were out there. Still, the Cedro's Armada, one of the top draws in... Uh, in Las Vegas, along with another group from Santa Fe called Santa Fe. Called Santa Fe yes. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry Lopez. Super, yeah, they, were, they used to be called Los Hermanitos Lopez, and uh, they grew up and uh, had this great band that I, I heard them back about, I'd say about 12 years ago in Vegas, and they go by the name Santa Fe, and right. they are an incredible band. Their dad was a manager when they started off, right? Yeah. Awesome, awesome band. We'll be right back uh, with Try Me by the Vandells, uh, right here on Real Oldie 1600. This is El Rock and Roll and Elvis Presley. We are visiting with uh, three of the original Vandells from Albuquerque, Bill Dauber, Harold Garcia, and Paul Harrison. And of course, we are remembering their lead singer, the late Martin Duran, and we're uh, dedicating today's New Mexico Gold, Try Me by the Vandells, to the late Martin Duran, lead singer of the Vandells, and you will be hearing Martin Duran doing those leads in just a few minutes as we lead up to New Mexico Gold. Uh, Paul, I understand you have uh, listed some of the original members of the Vandells. Quite a big group, if I remember correctly. Yes, I do, because like our influence was like mostly like a lot of James Brown, so we did have two drummers. So it was the Vandells <laughs> and the Fabulous Flames, huh? Yeah, well... <laughs> Your own like flames. <laughs> yeah. Who are some of the members? Okay, the lead vocalist uh, and guitar player, Martin Duran, uh, trumpet, Simon Chavez, uh, drummer, my friend here, Bill Dauber. Um, of course, I played the bass. And then our saxophone player was Tony Ramirez, and a guitar player, a rhythm guitar player, with Harold Garcia. And we had the other drummer called Randy Valley. He passed away. And then uh, also on the sax was Anthony Aragon, my cousin Anthony. <laughs> and future members were Robert Chavez, uh, Rubel Martinez, and Paul Duran, which is Martin Duran's brother. Oh, very good. And uh, when you guys were starting out as the Vandells as a, a real garage band, you had a young uh, West Mesa high schooler also playing little drums for you guys sitting in on the garage in those days, right? Yes, we were called the hideaways. <laughs> and that young man was... Uh, well, well, one and only Randy Castillo from Ozzy and, you know, and a bunch of other groups. And then we had, it was uh, Felix and the Cats. Oh, Felix and the... That's an original name. Right, it was Felix, <laughs> Paul, and... Uh, Randy and my cousin uh, Anthony Aragon. And uh, uh, Paul used to hang around with uh, Randy Castillo back in your high school days, right? Yes, sir. Uh, did Randy Castillo graduate with uh, you, you guys what year? We were in the high school band together. Oh, I see. Yeah. And uh, we got, I've got a picture of Tommy G and the Albuquerque High Band that Fred uh, Uranga brought us. Uh, uh, very nice. And uh, Orlando? Harold. Harold, excuse me. Uh, Where did I get Orlando? Uh, uh, how about some trivia? Okay. What color was uh, Randy's first set and what brand was it? 
Oh, I'd uh, say Ludwig and you got it. purple. What color? No, it was a uh, uh, silver sparkle. Well, you know, future future hard rocker. What can I say? <laughs> and then uh, Randy's dad was uh, an upholsterer, you know, by trade, and he, he did the upholstery job for Randy's drums. <laughs> oh, really? I yes, know. Sir. One time we practiced in my garage, and his dad came up. I think he had a 63 or 64 white station wagon. Six, no, 63. 63. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he's broken his drums uh, practicing over there, and he had his dad made him the, the covers. They were nice. We're talking, of, of course, to Randy Castillo, a future drummer for Ozzy Osbourne, Albuquerque legend, uh, passed away a few years ago. And uh, everyone misses him very much. Real Oldie 1600. We'll be back with the Vandals finally and Try Me coming up in just uh, a few, after these uh, few words from our... Uh, uh, fine family of uh, advertisers here at Real Oldies 1600. And take, we do the entire library for every artist because they are, they are some great tunes, and uh, we leave no artist behind here at Real Oldies 1600. We get us to uh, 12:30 Monday through Friday. We do New Mexico Gold, a tribute to those great groups from New Mexico back in the 50s and 60s. Those forgotten 45s that you don't hear on Oldies Radio anymore, but they are forgotten no longer because here at Real Oldies 1600, we are. So so proud of our New Mexico groups because they were fine productions. Uh, guys like Tommy B, Lindy Blasky, they did such great work. Today we are featuring a group from Albuquerque. Uh, they all went to West Mesa High School, uh, most of them. And uh, back on August 12, 1967, uh, Harold Garcia brought me a bunch of these KQEO million dollar surveys from uh, back in the 60s. And on that day, August 12, 1967, the number one song in the country was Light My Fire by the Doors. But at number seven, on Delta Records, Albuquerque's own Vandells. And here we go with their big hit from 1967, Try Me. Try Me. some applause or was that recorded live at the Civic Auditorium or what? Actually, Bill Dauber, uh, pass the mic over to Bill Dauber. I, we were trying to figure out uh, when we uh, first uh, uh, heard this version, uh, we thought it was a live version, but you said it was just uh, the band members doing what at the end? We were just messing around at the end and we did all the uh, 
the live action in the background. Super duper. And, uh, of course, uh, today's New Mexico Gold dedicated to the late lead singer of the Vandells, Martin Duran. And uh, uh, before we say goodbye to the Vandells, uh, uh, Paul has... Uh, some uh, some of the other uh, band members with the group uh, that he wanted to uh, talk about. You got some of the uh, uh, these other musicians or, or members of the Vandells you were talking about. Well, uh, no, I didn't mention. I just wanted to do a tribute to to, uh, to members that have passed away. I'm not members, but uh, musicians, opportunity musicians that, that, that you have played with away. throughout the years. Yes. Okay. Super. Okay. First of all, this goes out to Randy Castile, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Joe Bravo, Silent Majority, Randy Valley of uh, the Satin Soul. Jerry V. Hill of the Satin Soul, uh, Stanley Sanford of the Satin Soul, Max Peralta of the Sheltons, uh, Chuck Klingbill of the Mud, and Denny Gallegos, and also Beltram Chavez. And, of course, Tommy G. And, of course, Tommy G. Tommy G., the fabulous Tommy G. Real Oldie 16 now. We'll be saying goodbye to the Vandales here in a few minutes. And uh, well, this dedication is for all those guys that, uh, that Paul just mentioned. Sleepwalk, Santo, and Johnny. Sixteen hundred Santo and Johnny and Sleepwalk. I'd like to thank the Vandells uh, here with us once again. And that was dedicated to uh, all those musicians that Paul mentioned uh, that have passed on uh, some of the great musicians from the Albuquerque area that we feature uh, Monday through Friday on uh, New Mexico Gold. Coming up later this week, we're going to have uh, uh, Terry, I forget his last name, but he played with a group out of Gallup called Nobody's Children. They had a, a great big hit called uh, St. James Infirmary, and I believe he's going to be in the, uh, in the studio Thursday on New Mexico Gold talking about that. And uh, tomorrow, we've got to check out the schedule here and see who's on New Mexico Gold tomorrow. We'll let you know a little later on. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for being here with us and making this uh, a super New Mexico Gold. Uh, Paul Harrison, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. And that was a nice touch, by the way, on those uh, remembrances of uh, some of your former uh, musicians here in Albuquerque. Harold Garcia, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for inviting us here and uh, doing a great job on Real Old D1600. You know, thank you very much. Giving credit to local musicians. Uh, you guys are fantastic. The, some great stuff. And you're playing with who again? Midnight Sun and Midnight also Sun. with uh, with a showcase. Okay, super duper. We'll look out for both those bands. Bill Dauber, thank you. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it for for having us. And this what's your great. sister's name? If it hadn't been for her? i got to thank my sister, Cynthia, who had called me up and informed me this was going on because if it wasn't for her, I would have missed this. this well, I'm really certainly thank glad you. that she was uh, there at Crazy Cat at the right time Saturday when we were talking Correct. about it. Super duper. Thanks, guys. And... Uh, we, we have some more Vandells uh, in the offing here. We're going to uh, enter some more into the library, and we're going to have these guys back in, in a few weeks down the road and do a, a segment of uh, the Vandells Part 2. That's coming up uh, in the future here at Real Oldie 1600 uh, New Mexico Go. We'll be right back with Dwayne Eddy, Rebel Rouser. Yes, I want to say hi to all my family out there, friends. <laughs> there you go. From, hi, everybody. From Paul, Harold. I hope you're recording this. Paul, Harold, and, uh, and Bill. Thanks, guys. The Vandells and their great hit. Try me. Great.